Hey everyone! In our first two episodes of the series, we talked about how to deliver a switchboard project digitally using Ecostructure Power Commission. Here today in Ecostructure Power Lab, together with our best expert, Fabrice, we will look at another really nice piece of functionality that you could take advantage of to test the circuit breakers. Yes, testing breaker is not new. But the user experience has been built from ground up inside Ecostructure Power Commission to make this valuable job done without any hassle. Today, we will show you how to use Ecostructure Power Commission to test our latest low voltage air circuit breaker, Master Pack MTZ. Well, circuit breaker testing is essential to ensure the safe and reliable performance of the electrical installation. The primary goal of circuit breaker testing is to determine the condition, especially its core protection functions. So given the circuit breakers may be inactive for months or years prior to the fault, so a regime of circuit breaker testing is an important safety factor. Ecostructure Power Commission offers three levels of breaker test. First, a quick and basic routine checkup. Second, an automatic trip curve test, which is equivalent to the secondary injection test. And third one, to prepare the breaker for more sophisticated primary injection test. Circuit breaker testing is recommended at both startup and every two to three years after that for preventive maintenance purpose. Launch. Ecostructure Power Commission and use the direct connection method. Just connect the laptop to the Micrologic X on Masterpack MTZ with a mini USB cable. Whichever way you add the MTZ to the EPC project. Ensure that you have selected the direct option in EPC and click on connect. This means you will have to connect your laptop and MTZ over USB even if the breaker has a remote communication module. To connect to Masterpack NT NW and Compact NSX, you will need service interface kit. In order to establish a connection, you have three steps. Step 1. Connect service interface to the power supply. Step 2. Use the right cable to connect service interface to the circuit breaker. Step 3. Use the USB cable to connect the service interface to the laptop. Ensure all the three LED are green. Now that the circuit breaker is properly connected to the laptop, let's begin with the basic testing functions in order to quickly check up the breaker status. This allows you to, with one click, evaluate the functioning of the Macrologic control unit. Here, you will be able to see the voltages, currents, power. If you see some strange values, like negative current or wrong power factor, you know there has been a mistake and you can then fix it. If your circuit breaker is wired with Enerlinks I.O. module or M2C module, use the device checkup I.O. tab to see the status of digital input and validate the wiring is done properly. You can also trigger the outputs to check if the connected relay or device gets activated. In the device checkup features, you can also test if the circuit breaker trips by using the force trip function. If the breaker is installed with optional accessories of MX and XF coils, 
you can also test the open and close operation of the breaker. All these test results will appear in the EPC project report. Well, now let's move to another test function, automatic trip curve test. It is actually equivalent to the so-called secondary injection test that is required at startup or for preventive maintenance purpose. You can prove to your customers that the breaker can actually trip according to the pre-configured protection settings inside MacLogic. We strongly recommend performing such tests with a report every two years as part of the preventive maintenance program. Select the basic protection areas of the curve you want to test and launch the test. EPC will simulate a fault current to trigger a trip in the trip unit. It will also show if the trip time was within expected limits based on the trip curve. Using this information, the software will show pass or failed result of the test. This test result can be seen in a special report as shown here. Remember to generate and save the test report for each breaker. Alternatively, you can also choose a specific injection current and time of injection as a custom test point of the overcurrent protection curve, LSI. In this case, the software will inject the current for the duration entered and will show if a trip occurs or not along with the trip time. It will not show any pass or fail result, but the result will also be available in the report. You can add up to six such custom test points for each breaker. Wow, that's pretty handy. Now I'm gonna go ahead to the last test function, which is not required all the time, but just in case your customer wants you to perform a primary injection test on the circuit breakers. You can use this feature to prepare for such test. Turn off the thermal memory and run fault protection and then use an external power source to generate the fault current. Remember, as much as possible, we recommend to use of the automatic trip curve test to prolong the life of the breaker. Well, you may wonder now, with all this test done, how exactly you can save, retrieve, and demonstrate the test result to your customers. So here it comes to my favorite feature. Ecostructure Power Commission intelligently generates a product report with all this information saved in a single place. It reduces the possibility of errors and free up your valuable time. By the way, using digital logbook and switchboard QR code, report can be automatically saved behind the QR code. That is super convenient. We hope this video has helped you understand how you can test the Masterpack MTZ circuit breaker. This will help your customer to be confident in the safety and reliability of their electrical installation. So thanks for attending and hope it was useful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.